welcome America, welcome Indian, India, welcome uh, Taylor Swift to the um, live edition of um, Helbing's recording today in Studio 202. So today we are going to be doing one problem, a uh, scale model problem. I used to teach this back when I taught seventh grade uh, many, many years ago, and I don't know if they teach it in middle school anymore, but it's proportions. And um, they, they tell you that you purchase a scale model, sorry, you purchase a scale model of a train, right? So you've got this little, small little model of a train. The model states that the scale is one inch for every 5.4 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by writing that down. That's a ratio. So one, and you'll probably write it over here, but I'm gonna write it over here. One inch in the model is to 5.4 feet in real life for, and for realsies, okay? So now there are two questions. If the model is 10 inches long, how long is the actual train? So what we need to do to set up a proportion is we need to make sure the units are the same on both sides. So if we're gonna put inches over feet on this side, then on the other side, we need to put inches over feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, inches over feet. Now, the information they gave us, they told us the model is 10 inches long. Where's that 10 gonna go? Is it gonna go in the numerator or is it gonna go in the denominator? Numerator. And then the other one is the unknown, because we don't know the length of the actual train. And these are really basic numbers, but that's what we do when we start with, you know, um, start with problems. So we cross multiply, we do the butterfly method. X times one is just X. And don't worry about the units. 5.4 times 10 is, um, I'll just write it, 5.4 times 10. So I'm getting X is 54. And that's 54 what? Feet. Feet. There you go. <coughs> you can't forget the units. Any questions on that? Okay. Next problem. The actual, now, this is, if the actual height of the train is 13.5 feet. Well, let's go ahead and use the same ratio. We've got the same scale. We've got the same model. So one inch for every 5.4 feet, inches, feet. The actual height of the train is 13.5 feet, so 13.5 feet. Is everybody okay with putting the 13.5 in the denominator? Okay, and then how tall is the model? All right, we'll put our X right here. And it's okay that the units are different. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so we're gonna cross multiply. So 5.4 times X equals 13.5 times one, which is 13.5. Now take a calculator out. What's 13.5 divided by um, 5.4? What'd you get? 2.7. 2.7, anyone else? I got 2.48. Uh, let's, somebody else check it. I mean, some do with the calculator, just so we can confirm the right number, because I didn't do it, so. I got the wrong problem. 13.5 divided by 5.4. 2.5. Is 2.5. Okay, 2.5 what? What's the unit? Inches. Inches. 2.5 is 2.481 simplified. Um, good? That's it. Now, the only thing I want to say is that sometimes people get confused with these types of problems. You don't need to change the units. Um, you know, how, notice there's inches over feet. You don't need to change the feet to inches. Um, the reason that people get confused by that is because, and I'm, can I erase this? Is anyone still writing this down? Um, okay, let me know when you're um, finished so I can take you to a previous slide. A slide we did last class where we had just a ratio, not a proportion, and we had to make the units the same. And I wanna go back to that slide just so you could see the difference. This is a proportion. As long as you are consistent with the units, if you put inches over feet here, and you put inches over feet here, we are good, we can cross multiply and we can solve. And we have to make sure we put the units in our answer. You good? If I take it back to yesterday, Yes, 
where we just had ratios, right? And we had to simplify the ratio. If you're gonna simplify that ratio, it's not in a proportion. You've got to make the units the same first. You have to change two feet to 24 inches. Then the inches cancel and then you can simplify. Is there any questions? That's, the, that's really the only question that students usually have pertaining to these proportions when there's different units in the numerator and the denominator. Okay, that's all. Peace out.